Hey, welcome to week five. This is Roxanne from Chico. Um, oh, you can't see me. Just a sec. Hi, here I am. Okay, so this week is all about the expository paragraph. And what that means is um, we're going to take the literature and throw it out the window for a week. We're not going to look at literature. We're not going to analyze literature. What you're going to do is you have the opportunity to share with us in the class, along with me, because I'm in the class, um, two of your favorite things. I say things. Um, because I don't want to know what else word, what other word describes things like um, people, ideas, desserts, experiences, opportunities, emotions, whatever your two favorite things are, and you're going to put them in the body paragraph format. It's a body paragraph format that's a little different than the parallel analysis format. Hey Rose, that's my dog. Um, but um, I have attachments for you. As luck would have it, None of the paperwork that you need for this assignment is located in the literature packet that I have for you. However, there are attachments within our learning module for you, so you can click on them and print them. Um, if money's an issue, there are there's one document that you need to uh, make two copies of if you can, um, and it's the fill in the blank form. So there's actually a fill in the blank form that you're going to fill in first before you move on. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get my face off the screen and we're going to go over the four documents. I'm just going to show them to you um, so that you can see, uh, see them. Also, I'd like to um, let you know that your first body paragraph is your threaded discussion um, opportunity. So your threaded discussion is you um, typing your body paragraph number one into the threaded discussion forum. And then your responsibility as a responder to the peers in your class is to respond to someone's. And the directions are in uh, the discussion board and in week five um, of our class. But I just wanted to make sure I articulate that to you again because some people get confused that actually your first body paragraph is your threaded discussion and then it's also going to be part of your turnitin.com assignment because you're going to be turning in two body paragraphs. The first one will be one that you had also posted to the discussion board and then it had been edited by your peers in the class so you've edited it a little bit. You've rewritten it a little bit, as well as a second body paragraph. So I'm going to stop blathering for a second so I can get my face off the screen. Ah! Okay, so here are just a list of some of the things that can be your favorites, a favorite person, a group, a situation, event, moment, experience, word, idea, job, president, literary figure, fear, hope. Um, and your favorite things that doesn't have to be like two people. It could be one person and one event or um, one moment and one job. So um, you can mix it up. But there, I'm very excited to um, get to know you guys a little better by reading what your favorite things are. And now we move on. OK, so this is the fill in the blanks body paragraph format that you, um, if again, if, if money is an issue, please, if you can, at least print, make two copies of this. Otherwise, you can just hand write it out by looking. Um, just click on the attachment that's located in Blackboard and this will pop up looking just like this and you can hand write it down. So this is actually the format your body paragraph will take. My most favorite thing is whatever. Whatever is my favorite thing because, and then you're going to write a very broad trait characteristic that makes this thing your favorite thing. And then you're going to say, for example, you're going to put those words and you're going to explain to us a specific time or place when this thing revealed its personality trait. And then you're going to say, this example shows that my favorite thing is my favorite thing because. So you're going to tell us what your favorite thing is. You're going to give us a specific time or place when you realize that this was your favorite thing. And then you're going to tell us how that shows that it's your favorite thing. So you're basically are analyzing your kind of analyzing yourself. OK, so here's um, a student example of, from Seamus O'Malley, which is really me, um, of what your paper is going to look like. Of course, it's going to be formatted properly following the MLA format. You do have information about that in your booklet if you're forgetting how to do that. 
Um, here is my title, R. Yes and Bark, A Revelation of My Two Favorite People. That's also the name of the assignment. So um, your subtitle will be A Revelation of My Two Favorite People. Your title will be whatever creative title you want. And um, just, just take a quick look at this. One of my favorite people is my mom. She is one of my favorite people because every day I feel her positive energy. For example, Mom died of ovarian cancer about seven years ago. I remember about a week before she died, my mom was sitting in her ratty reclining chair. So here I'm talking about, I'm getting very specific about a specific incident when I realized she was my favorite person. And then I'm telling you why this makes her one of my favorite people. Um, and basically I had said, Mom, after you die, if you, will you come back? if you can and she said of course I will and then she sweetly smiled while falling back asleep ever since my mom's death and now this is the explanation now now I'm explaining how or why this idea of my mom talking to me about dying how and why it is so significant ever since my mom's death when the wind blows I think of her and there have been numerous times since when I have felt her presence. I actually find myself talking to her, not in public of course, and feeling her advice. I know many people, including my youngest sister Elizabeth, have trouble believing this, but my mom's visits are true. My mom's visits make me feel wanted and cared for. When I cry, my mom is there. When the wind blows, she has arrived. And whenever I see an owl, a nocturnal bird, that the day we scattered mom's ashes illegally in the park we used to walk in i know my mom is and of course the electric games many on the other side play my mom plays as well pennies seemingly fall from the sky the telephone rings at the exact hour for passing with no one on the other side lights flicker turning on by themselves everyone needs her mom no matter how old the child or mother it is my hope that when it is time i too will find myself helping my children from the other side and you'll notice here that I'm still editing years after writing this. Okay. My a second favorite person is Rose. Actually, Rose is not a human in the traditional sense. She is a dog. The reason she is one of my favorite people is because she intrigues me. Rose is a human trapped in the body of a border collar mix. What's missing here? For example, the words for example are missing here. F for me. <laughs> now just make sure that you do that. I am just noticed that right now. This is what happens. This is a great example of editing at the last minute, which I did, and this is what happened. I found more mistakes. Okay, I'm going to let you go because I'm running out of time. And um, please also check on Blackboard for Blackboard IM. It's an instant blur.